Doctors once again urging North Texans to skip the large parties for Super Bowl weekend. It's a warning they also know a lot of people will ignore. So our Robbie Owens tonight shares a first person warning from a COVID battle being fought uncomfortably close to home for all of us. Between arguing over the commercials and the crock pot queso, the Super Bowl party in recent years has become the every man's connection to sports' biggest stage. It wasn't, I didn't go to a party. I didn't go somewhere to put myself in jeopardy. Um, I'm not sure how I got it. But get it, he did. CBS 11 photojournalist Sal Rio says he had no symptoms, always took precautions until his condition worsened and he had to be rushed to a local hospital. And the scary point of it is I'm going into the hospital and somebody's pathway is coming out. And the light really went on and said, oh, and this is, could be in trouble here. But the trouble was just beginning. After initially appearing to recover, Rios was hospitalized a second time. Basically collapsed in my wife's arms. So, and no more breath. I couldn't breathe. Health experts warn that Super Bowl parties where strangers mix unmasked could set the stage for more super spreader events. Well, certainly we've you know documented the presence of some of the new variant, uh, and these are more easily transmitted. Uh, you know, as if we didn't have enough to worry about. Michelle, what would you say to all those people who, in spite of all the warnings, will go to a Super Bowl party this weekend and who think that if they get it, well, it's no big deal and they'll be able to beat it? It's real and it's really scary and it could take your life. None of that is worth going to a birthday party or Super Bowl party. Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. And Sal, by the way, tells us that the many messages he received while he was in the hospital helped him stay encouraged. So he wants to encourage others to do everything possible to avoid the virus. We love you, Sal. Can't wait to have you back.